Pneumatic conveying systems are simple by definition. We're using air pneumatics to move material, which would be resin, plastic resin in this case, from point A to point B. But they truly do get pretty complicated based on all the different components and the different remote uh, I.O. that's required to control systems like this. Um, so we use air to move resin. Uh, typically, this is going to be in pellet form, but it could be in powder form. Now, typically in, a, in the plastics industry, you're going to see resin in pellet form because it's just simply easier to handle. If we've, we've all baked before, we've all been in the kitchen, and when you're starting to, to, to deal with flour, for example, it's very difficult to keep your countertops clean and not have flour all over the floor, all over the place, right? So flour in a powder form, imagine if that was in a more granular or a pellet form, it'd be a lot easier to, to, to deal with. And if you made a mess, it's easier to clean up a couple pellets of flour for, in this specific case than a whole mound of, of dust that got all over your kitchen, all right? So plastic resin historically is most typically is going to be in a, in a resin form. However, some processors do receive uh, resin in powder form, and we have equipment to be able to deal with that, which we'll get into later. Uh, we use uh, positive displacement or regenerative style pumps to, to move air. Uh, in pneumatics, you have to have air moving through. Pneumatic conveying, you have to have air moving through a conduit, so we have to generate that air somehow. So the pump is going to be utilized for that specific case. Uh, we pick the resin up at a certain location. Typically, this is going to be out of a Gaylord or out of a bag break station where the resin is coming in in more smaller form. But keep in mind, resin you can purchase in truckload or even by rail car, up to 200 or 225,000 pounds in a given time there uh, with respect to certain volume rates you may be able to get for your resin. We'll get into all the different types of means of, of offloading all that resin into your facility.